New at this hour, a robbery task force has netted HPD 10 suspects. Houston Police Chief Troy Finner announcing that those suspects were picked up on the west side, including in the Memorial and Galleria areas. These are very violent gang members and crews that are out working these robberies. Uh, they're identifying them. It's very similar to the bank druggings you everybody has participated in covered before. They're identifying their targets differently. They're looking at luxury rides, exotic cars, in conjunction with flashy, expensive jewelry and uh, high-end shopping districts and expensive restaurants. If you suspect you are being followed, drive to a police station or fire station while you call 911. If you suspect you are being followed, drive to a police station or a fire station while calling 911. That's the state of affairs in Houston. That's where Houston is right now. In all these cities. But this is Houston where this happened, where this young brother was robbed for everything he had by some um, other brothers in broad daylight right in front of a hotel. <laughs> but that's what the, they're telling you in Houston. If you are being followed, because this is the, the robberies are off the chain down there. I, you, I saw the video I did last week on this. They're putting devices under people's cars and tracking them. They're lurking around high-end shopping districts and following people home and stuff. They're running up on people in broad daylight who have valuables on. It's bad down there in Houston and a lot of other cities. So the advice is, if you feel like you're being followed, which so many people have been followed, make sure you see that video. If you're new to the channel, you have to go back and see the video I did last week. That's why you have to watch all my videos on this situation. You have to, if you think you're being followed, and this is, I'm talking to all you guys out there. If you think you are being followed, call 911 on your way to a fire station or a police station. So now, right now, best thing to do is to find out where all your fi local fire stations are and local police stations are, if you don't know. So that if you're driving and the robbers follow you, you don't have to, you're, you're in a panic because these guys with these bazookas and machine guns are following you. So you might be panicked and you might not be able to think straight. So it's good that you, I would suggest that you first know where, learn where your local fire departments are and your local police stations are. So at as soon as you see these, these guys following you, you can make a, you know, level-headed decision. It's just automatic, you know, all right, go here, make a left, make a right, yada, yada, yada. But make sure you also call 911 while you're driving. Because you may not make it to the fire station. You may not make it to the um, police station. Crime alert to pass along developing right now. Carjackers targeting a mother on Mother's Day. And caught on camera just days later, thieves target another innocent person. And the crooks rolled up in what appears to be that mother's stolen car. Our Michael Lapardi live in the Atascacita area with new details in this carjacking crime alert. Michael? Dominique, the woman, says that she was pulling into her garage at the time when two people came running up to her car. She says one of them had a gun that held to her head and yanked her out of the driver's seat. They then take off with the vehicle, and she goes running to a neighbor's house for help. This mother got quite the surprise on Mother's Day, and not in a good way. Put a gun to my head, so, um, and started screaming, get out, get out, get out. She asked us not to share her face or use her name after what happened. Yanked me out of the car, yanked my purse off of me, and I just took off running, and then they, they screeched down the street. She says she was the victim of a carjacking on Sunday afternoon while pulling her gold BMW into the garage of her home in the Atascacita area. I saw the gun. I just, I, I couldn't believe it. The Harris County Precinct 4 
Constable's office as it appears the same car was then used in a recent carjacking in Montgomery County. A neighbor in Valley Ranch shared with us this video that shows a similar looking car pull up. Two people get out and run towards an SUV. Now they're pulling up their pants as they run to carjack this next person in her car. Give me a race on these guys pulling up their pants as they get out of the car. get out of her car to carjack another person office as it appears the same car was then used in a recent carjacking in montgomery county a neighbor in valley ranch shared with us this video that shows a similar looking car pull up two people get out and run towards an suv outside what a neighbor said is an in-home daycare you can see the one in the red get inside and eventually take off with that vehicle i am sure that's my car and the same people the same people that um that took my car. The woman says something similar happened to her. A car dropped off two males who then approached her. She's sharing her story to warn others. I want people to be aware if they see somebody that looks suspicious, say something. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's racist, man. That's racist, man. That's racist. White Latina lady. If you see somebody that looks suspicious, say something. Because the black community, not every single black person is doing this. So we deal, we deal in all or nothing. Okay, black people are, we extremists, man. All or nothing. So every single solitary black person is not carjacking. So if you see any black person, black teens, <laughs> with their pants sagging, hoodies on, and masks on, lurking and looking sneaky and gun prints in their hoodie pockets, you can't be alarmed because that's racist. Because every single solitary black person on the planet does not carjack people. Now, you, luckily, this woman's from another race. So they don't do that shit. They just use observation skills. <laughs> use past situations and put one and one together. They connect dots. <laughs> That was the great David Curls that niggas can't connect dots. These other races, they can connect dots. They ain't gonna, they ain't gonna play stupid. I want people to be aware if they see somebody that looks suspicious, say something. Because on a day meant to celebrate moms. Yeah, happy Mother's Day to me. This mother of two says she was left terrified at her own home. We reached out to the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office to get a little bit more information about that other incident. The woman we interviewed says that she has beefed up security at her home, but to her knowledge, her vehicle has not been recovered yet. They still have her fucking car. <laughs> this happened on Mother's Day. These niggas still got her fucking car. Let's police. Len, this is a growing problem. These crooks are watching folks shop at some of Houston's high-end shopping centers, like the River Oaks District just behind me. They then follow them home before they strike. Tonight, one of the victims is sharing his story and hoping new surveillance video helps track these guys down. It was supposed to be just another shopping trip to the River Oaks District. Plenty of stores to pick from. Jay and his wife walked into Hermes. There's no peace of mind. You, you can shop or walk somewhere. Two pairs of shoes, a pink exotic alligator skin bracelet, and a woman's yellow bathing suit later, they walked out with $5,000 worth of purchases. And I guess they followed us from valet parking. From there, it was a 15-minute drive to their next stop, a collision center in Spring Branch. They're pros. I mean, they're, they know what they're doing. Jay pulled into the auto shop. Cameras capture a red Hyundai Tucson a few seconds behind. I guess they ran their camera back and we identified that it was the same vehicle that was parked and driving through that river oaks district that same is this negro that's about to rob these people eating chicken so he got out of the car on camera now i don't think they froze 
He wouldn't have got out of the car on camera just to throw away some chicken. That chicken looked good too, man. <laughs> Give me a race on this fella. From there, it was a 15 minute drive to their next stop, a collision center in Spring Branch. They're pros. I mean, they're, they know what they're doing. Jay pulled into the auto shop. Cameras capture a red Hyundai Tucson a few seconds behind. I guess they ran their cameras back and we identified that it was the same vehicle that was parked and driving through that River Oaks district. That same vehicle spent the next 30 minutes driving up and down the parking lot. They also watched from the gas station across the street. One of the crooks seen walking in to buy some tacos. Jay says they were watching and waiting for his wife to get out of the car. Watch what happened when she did. As soon as she got out, vehicle uh, without the lights, made a U-turn, came into the parking lot, pulled right up. They swiped the shopping bags in the back and sped off nearly crashing into an innocent driver as they pulled out. We always you being watched, man. This shit is bad now, man. I know a lot of y'all appreciate this channel. And I salute to y'all guys, man. Make sure you hit the like button, hit the PayPal, hit the cash app, hit the super chat. This is public safety, man. These niggas is running around following people, man. I mean, these <laughs> victims of white supremacy are running around following people, riding around, lurking. You don't have no clue what's going on. Just lurking, lurking at all times. It's not like it was in 2019. It's a different world. And soon, they're gonna, there's going to be rapists that use this situation. Kidnappers that use this same technology, these same things. To be lurking. Sisters going to be going about their business thinking they just doing what they do. And it's going to be the criminals that commit sexual assault that are going to be lurking. And then they're going to be like, damn. I wish there was some police around. <laughs> and the reason I'm saying sisters is because nobody else is actually talking to defund the police. Even the white liberals, they're just talking about defunding the police in the black neighborhoods. How many of y'all know that? The white liberals? They're, they're only talking about defunding the police in the black neighborhood. They're not talking about defunding the police in their neighborhoods. They're only talking about doing it in black neighborhoods. So that's why I'm pointing out sisters. And brothers, of course, I'm not going to mention brothers because they're the ones doing it. Every story we've seen in this thing has been a brother. And you know that too because you watch the news in your town. And in the places where we live at, not in fucking Idaho or Wyoming or Appalachia, I'm talking about where we live at, every time it's going to be a brother. So... Of course they want the police abolished <laughs> I mean No shit They want the police abolished They want prisons Closed Of course they want that So there's no point in mentioning black men That's why I say sisters Okay One of the crooks seen walking in to buy some tacos Jay says they were watching and waiting For his wife to get out of the car Watch what happened when she did. As soon as she got out, vehicle uh, without the lights, made a U-turn, came into the parking lot, pulled right up. They swiped the shopping bags in the back and sped off, nearly crashing into an innocent driver as they pulled out. We always see it happen on the news and uh, never thought, you know, uh, what would happen to us. But these types of crimes, known as jugging, are happening more often. Houston police say as of late, they're zeroing in on shoppers near the Galleria and then following them home. Just last month, a man was robbed and shot in Tanglewood after being followed home from a nearby restaurant. It's gonna, you know, change the scope of shopping. Jay's hopeful this video helps shut these crews down before someone gets killed. They could come anywhere, anytime, and just, not, you know, rob people blind. Uh, hopefully we could get them off the streets. Jay tells us tonight he's willing to offer up to an $1,000 reward for any information that leads to an arrest. If you know anything that can track these guys down, you're asked to call Houston police right away. Back to you.